Hey guys, Meet Rattle Chris Tomer here on this Sunday. Let's talk some mountain weather here. My first stop, because we got snow, is up here in the High Uintas, up there in northeast Utah. Look at that. This is Bald Mountain Pass up here in the High Uintas, and they definitely got some snow. I don't think it's maybe as much as I was hoping, but uh, nonetheless, seeing some snow accumulation up there. And that's not the only place that got snow. Let me take you into... Uh, into Alta, Utah right here. And they actually got a little bit more than I was expecting, three, four inches there on the snow stakes of snow, high uintas and snow above eight or 9,000 feet up there, Little Cottonwood and Big Cottonwood Canyon. So great to see, again, not a ton, but uh, definitely good to see. Let me take you into uh, Colorado. Oh, this is beautiful. Guys, look at this. So we're back down here at Telluride Regional. We looked at this yesterday. It's still wet on the tarmac. But look at the uh, the, the Wilsons here into the distance just starting to emerge. I have no question they got heavy snow. Those are some 13ers and 14ers tucked in over there. I'm sure they got several inches, probably a foot of snow up there. Um, and that's just such a beautiful shot. Now, less snow closer to the, the, the central and northern mountains. This is a Lublin ski area. Um, what's interesting about this, looks like maybe a dusting, is this is at about 11.8. So I expect that the snow level to drop to about 12, but this definitely says that the snow level dropped below that. So probably, maybe even down to 11, but again, not as much snow here. There was much more snow as you go into parts of western Colorado and then down into southern Colorado. But nice to see this, and look at this. See this, guys? They're starting to position for the big race, the big opening. They've got the snow um, guns right there, the hoses starting to get things out there. I don't think they've tested yet, um, but it's usually Loveland A Basin, Keystone, Wolf Creek, Copper that typically try to open early or early, well, open first. Um, and sometimes that happens in October. Absolutely, sometimes that happens in October. So I think they see what I'm seeing, that we've got two additional storm systems coming down the road, and the third one will probably be the coldest um, of the bunch. Here's radar across the west. So this is our uh, area of low pressure, and then what you see down here is remnant moisture from Priscilla. So we're still dealing with that for one more day. But clearly you've got snow in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, still falling up there into parts of potentially BC and Alberta. Um, one more radar vantage point. Here's Colorado, fascinating. Look at the front right here, marching into western Colorado with thunderstorms approaching Grand Junction in Mesa County. Some leftover precip over the mountains, although it is pretty light at this point. All right, bullet points. We'll jump right into this. So we've got the current storm system happening right now. You can see the snow levels down to about 11,000 in Colorado. Wyoming all the way down to 6,000 feet, so it's definitely colder with this as you go north as the low kind of pulls in colder air with it. Second storm system, 1013 to 1016, that one will be a front and remnant tropical moisture from what was Raymond. Third storm still looks to be the coldest, but it sort of has repositioned itself and has kind of pushed itself back along the timeline to 10, 19, 20, and 21, so you can see the best odds of snow here. For Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and Interior, BC, typically the, you've got one storm today, the leftovers, and then you've got two additional uh, behind that. Here's water vapor satellite imagery. So this really gives you the lay of the land. Dry air, oranges, reds, blacks in the middle of the atmosphere, and your moisture where the action is in the whites, the blues. And so you've got one storm here, that's the current, and then already seeing the moisture come in with the next area of low pressure, that's the one that's gonna dig all the way south and hammer the Sierra between the afternoon evening of the 13th and into the 14th. So that's gonna be a really good one. And I've got some details on that coming up here in a sec. Here's the, fu the future radar and satellite. So this is what the radar should look like in the future. We'll start this up at lunchtime today, October 12th. What do you see? Most of the action is up here across the northern tier with our area of low pressure, and then the next storm already coming in behind it. Um, all right, let me move that into the future. Here we go. So there's dinner time. That's lunch. No, that's, that's the breakfast hour. That's the, the morning hours of a Monday, October 13th. What do you see tomorrow morning? You've got remnant moisture from Raymond, and there's our next low, already diving south with snow developing over the highest peaks of the Sierra. Uh, above 9,000 initially, but then that's going to drop to about seven, even 6,000 feet at times. All right, here we go. Lunchtime on Monday, 
there's the dinner hour on uh, Monday and when you see these yellows and these greens that's a much more intense brand of forecast precipitation so heavier and that's right over the top of the high Sierra I don't have any doubt we're gonna see one to two feet of snow accumulation above say 12,000 across a lot of the high Sierra all right here we go early morning hours uh, Tuesday October 14th um, here's lunchtime and there's the dinner hour on the 14th. What do you notice here? So there's our area of low pressure making its move into the interior Rockies with precip over Utah, the Wasatch, the High Uintas, Idaho, moving into Wyoming, Montana, and also Colorado. One more stop here. Here's the early morning hours of a Wednesday, October 15th. Storm system continues to move into the interior. It's just taking its time. All right, looking at the middle of the atmosphere, pressure anomalies, this is the current day. So this is today. Um, there's our low moving towards the east and the next area of low pressure already moving in. Looks like some storminess down here over Florida and the Carolinas. Pre atmospheric pressure anomalies really give you a solid clue as to what's coming. This is Thursday, so this is the middle of 1016, the middle of our next storm system, next area of low pressure. And then further down the road, this is going to be our third storm system. And again, this one would likely be the coldest. Look at the dip in the pressures here. The low pressure is likely a big dip in the jet. If this verifies, we're seeing snow a little more widespread at lower elevations across the Rockies. Big area of low pressure up there in the northeast um, as well. I have to check on that one. Um, let me show you the five-day as far as snow forecast goes. So anywhere you see these pinks, these purples, that's over six inches. In many cases, it's six to 12. You can see the seven, the eight, um, some sevens and eights right there, but definitely looking at good snow for Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, parts of Utah, parts of Colorado, and look at the Sierra. In fact, that's kind of exciting. Let me zoom into the Sierra. Talked about this yesterday, no big changes with the forecast. The bulk of the snow will fall late 13 and throughout the day on the 14th. Look at that, right across the spine of the High Sierra. Initially at 9,000 foot to rain snow line, all the way down to 6,000 feet, so to Tahoe. In fact, uh, I brought this forecast in to really hit this, to hit this home. So this is the extended snow forecast from the ensembles, a group of models for Truckee, Tahoe. So all the way down to Truckee and Tahoe, snow, snow accumulation accelerates up 13, 14, 15 and then a little bit of extra snow down the road and grand totals by the 27th, at least the ensemble mean is at almost eight inches. Again, that's all the way down to Truckee, Tahoe. Let me take you to a zoom. This is Wyoming, Montana, Utah, parts of Colorado. And again, a big swath of six to 12 inches over the Wind Rivers. Parts of the Tetons, Yellowstone, Absaroki, Beartooth. And look at Utah in the extended forecast, the Wasatch, over six inches, over six inches in the high Uintas, and some pockets in Colorado of over six inches as well. So again, storm right now, second storm system coming. This covers basically today and then that second storm. It does not even really cover the third storm system. All right, final map in Colorado. Not as much snow as everybody else, but looking at some snow, northern, central, and southern zones with some pockets here of about six, seven, eight inches of snow. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.